I wanted to talk to you today about Overture, Brone's automated fresh air system. My understanding is that it uses real-time sensors to reduce pollution and control ventilation. The Overture system consists of three products that, when paired with your ventilation devices, really helps automate your indoor air quality. Two of the products have sensors built into them. So uh, when they recognize a pollutant going above a, a threshold that we've set, it'll automatically turn on things like your bath fans or your range hoods, or even your fresh air systems to take care of that problem. Maybe it would help if you give me an example of how Overture would optimize different devices. Somebody uh, in a house using a range hood with an ERV and a couple other pieces of equipment. Sure thing. So. If you're cooking, for example, or you're cleaning your countertops, Overture will recognize those pollutants within the air and automatically turn on your range hood to exhaust those fumes out of your home. And would it also uh, balance other equipment, like say you have a bath fan running or an ERV, would it turn one up and turn one down? Let's say you have a supply fan. Um, as your ventilation devices duct or exhaust air out of your home, that supply fan will also bring in fresh air to accommodate the balance of that uh, the air within your home. How does this affect compliance with the ASHRAE 62.2 standard? Can you still meet your basic ventilation needs? It won't throw anything out of whack there. Yeah, 100%. Uh, I'll start with that ASHRAE 62.2. The system is built with that in mind. So the algorithm that runs Overture is considering the, the ASHRAE 62.2 when it's deciding what action to take. So it'll never throw your home out of whack, so to speak. The AI series can automatically self-balance itself to say, I'm noticing some resistance here on the outgoing airflow, and it will adjust that motor. The fact that it's adjusting the motor to meet the demand, I would assume means it's not overcompensating. So essentially you are adding an energy efficiency component because you're only supplying enough energy, power, speed as necessary to complete the task. Yes, that's absolutely correct. The unit has sensors built into it that can read airflow. So it's not just a motor speed, it's the actual physical airflow. So you will always maintain proper airflow, sort of no matter what the circumstances are. Right, but at the same time, and you're using the minimum required uh, energy to accomplish it. Yeah, exactly. Sort of an on-demand power that you need it. When you need it, it's there. When you don't, it's back to its normal levels. To set this up, you have a mobile app that goes with the Overture system? Yeah, the, the app is like any other app you've used before to set up a, a smart home product. You simply go on there, you connect to the device, you provide it your Wi-Fi information, your SSID and password. And from there, it recognizes that information and it communicates via our cloud. So any updates that we push are 100% free, always uh, push to your devices from a firmware level and a software level. Who is going to be the, the, the point person on installing an Overture? Yeah, typically it's your electrical contractor or your custom integrator in some instances. Um, really, whoever is you know installing the switches or the electrical uh, wiring within your home will set up the switches and then your custom integrator will help you set up the app and set up the system for, uh, again, optimal usage. Um, it becomes a really easy task for a retrofit application. So it's as simple as taking out your, you know, your fan switch and replacing it with Overture. Um, and our room sensors and our smart plugs plug into uh, just a regular 120 volt outlet, which we've got thousands of in our homes. They're, they're scattered all over the place. So um, from a retrofit perspective, it's relatively simple to set up. And from a new construction, it's even easier. There's no hub needed for this product as well. So there's no need for installing some unit in a closet or on a shelf somewhere else um, for either new or retrofit construction. There, there's not an added component. It's, it's just either installing an outlet where one would normally be or a switch where one would normally be or replacing a switch. But I think these sensors are real game changers too because uh, all of a sudden uh, we're aware that we can sort of identify what the problem is. And then the next step that we've taken is really attempting to solve the problem with Overture.